Hello fellow fish nerds and happy Fry Friday to you. Once again I'm bringing you my German Blue Rams or Micro Chew Vegas Ram Breezy. Um, earlier this week I got quick video clips of them definitely in the pre-spawning uh, behavior and you see the female there picking at the plant pot there possibly cleaning it preparing it for fry. But um, <clears throat> I'll post that video at the end of this video. It'll be the last minute or two, um, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Also, while I got to here right now, be sure to subscribe to my uh, my my channel. Um, I do. It really makes me excited to see. You know, I uh, throughout the day I get one more uh, subscriber. I get really happy, really uh, excited. Be sure to turn on the uh, notifications. That I do. Uh, post update videos about my fish or that are shown in these videos on when these do breed when these do spawn um, I will definitely be documenting or vlogging I guess you would say the um, the progress and the entire process um, so these have been definitely a struggle but um, they tend to be much happier now that I've followed some directions of some fellow fish hobbyists. So be sure to turn on the notifications, click that bell below, because um, I'm not sure if it'll be a Water Change Wednesday video for these guys or a Fry Friday video. But um, anyways, I did make a few changes. First off, um, I listened to some fellow fish hobbyists at uh, Click and Fish. I'll put a link to their store and their website down below there we go there's my finger right down below this video <laughs> these guys are ready to eat here um they said to take out the other male out of this tank so i did and this male was able to choose which female so i had one male and two females and on tuesday or wednesday i noticed this male was being very partial to this female here and this female was chasing at the other female where the other female was like losing a lot of her color so I moved that female over to the tank for teachers tank of my coworker has I'll post a link to that video right here um, so you can see where those fish are now um, and the uh, so they are now a pair in there and how hilarious would it be if they if that pair bred before this pair when my coworker is doing absolutely nothing and I am you know, trying, working hard here to get these pair to spawn. <clears throat> so, you might notice in the video clips at the end of this video that that plant pot right there was actually turned upright or upside down like this one. But um, I noticed that they were cleaning the, the area right there at the base of it a lot. So I was, I wanted to give them a fl another flat surface choice so I figured they could either lay eggs on top of this this plant pot in the foreground or they could actually lay it on the top or inside of the plant pot in the background there um, so I want them to have choices um, I'm not sure if they or if the water changes are what move the plant matter into that plant pot but um, either way I'm just gonna leave it and let them rearrange because they were doing a lot of picking as you'll notice in the end videos but I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to show you all. I'm going to show you how, how I feed these uh, German Blue Rams. And they're getting really excited. Uh, I use a, I think it's an inkjet uh, syringe with airline tubing on it that I use to suck up the black worms. Let me focus on what I'm doing here. That should be plenty for them. And then they get rather aggressive. I mean, look at them. I'm sorry, look at them going after this thing. They are super excited. I tend I add some more water to it so that I can put out a few worms at a time and not as many. There we go. There's a bunch, and they're just going at it. They are super excited. And then once they stop showing interest, I um, I'll, I'll show you what I do. Man, they are hungry. I know, I know I fed them yesterday. Man, they don't usually eat this many. They usually eat like maybe two or three and they're done, but they're going after them this time. All right, there's one. There's the males going for it. Uh, there's two, maybe the female. Yep, man, they're hungry. I know I fed them yesterday. I fed them black worms and flake food and they ate both. 
And I fed him some flake food this morning, too. Don't worry, people. I'm not starving my fish. They might tell you otherwise. I'm not even going to have enough to do what I said I was going to do. Man, they're ravenous right now. I mean, they're putting out every. They're eating everything I can put out of this tube here. I think that's it. Oh, there's one more. Oh, there's air. So, I get some more. I'll show you what I've been doing. That's definitely a lot right there. Let me catch a few here. I'll get some, draw some tank water up into it. And obviously they're rather full right now, so I think they're pretty much done. But what I've been doing is I've just been taking the airline tubing, I've been inserting it down into the flower pot so that the extras can maybe start a colony of black worms and that will grow up and separate. And as they grow up and separate and escape from the gravel here, um, then the fish will be fed. So it's a little thing I'm trying. I haven't seen any come up above the gravel yet. I'm trying to see if I see any come out of the tube here. There's no way she's hungry for more though. Well, I guess that's it. But um, anyways, that was a little bit more enter entertaining than usual. There's the mail. Get the lighting better. There we go. There's the mail again. I think he thinks he's got some. No, he doesn't. There actually is a worm at the bottom of that root. <clears throat> there we go. He found it. But um, after this, I will do a water change. Uh, just a small water change, like the top inch or so. So I guess it's like a 10% water change. Um, and I found that that really brought it brought the female into uh, her breeding colors. I guess their breeding colors because she was even more bold than that. I mean, dark, dark, pink, I mean, just dark colors. You'll notice in the video at the end of this one. But um, yeah, that's what was going on. That was really cool to see that. And I, then their behavior definitely alluded to breeding. So hopefully that'll start to happen again today. And once again, here's a little update on my Celestial Pearl Danios. Uh, they're doing really nice, and they're a lot more active now that i put more plants in here. They're weaving in and out of plants, and I think I even saw some of them doing some breeding behavior. I'm just going to see if they'll just lay some eggs in the plants, and if the plants will provide enough cover for maybe some fry. I'm not, I'm not really actively doing too much. I'm just feeding them some uh, microworms. Here, I'll, let me get some, and I'll feed them, and you can... See that feeding frenzy? I know it's not as exciting as the black worms, or not as exciting as watching like you know piranhas feed like down the wormhole videos, but I mean, hey, it's a feeding frenzy on a micro worm level. Let me just get a finger full here of micro worms. That's what I got. You touch the water. Uh, I'm pretty shocked at how well these microworms appear on camera. <coughs> put this back, and we should start to see them be more active now. So there's the microworm starting to fall to the bottom. There they are. There's a nice cloud of them. And here come the sharks. Do do. This is one of this is one of my favorite times with the Celestial Pearl Danios is feeding time obviously because they come out a lot more. I mean they're out more with the plants, but when I feed them, I really see them a lot more active. I'm looking for any fry at the bottom. I don't really see anything moving. Which I didn't really expect to, but be a nice surprise one day to see. An extra little baby down here. When my students find out though that these fish are fully grown, they're like, whoa, what do they look like as babies? 
I'm like, well, really small. And next to this tank, I have the uh, blonde guppies. I'll show you them. The blonde guppies that are from a former student. Her dad raises guppies and betas, and he had too many, as we know is the case with guppies. So these are growing out and starting to develop some color here. So I'm going to see if, I, if I'm going to keep them, and maybe I'll pick out the best ones and put the rest into the put the extra males in the bachelor pad, put the extra females in the, the uh, community tank. Most of the females don't look like they've been bred here, so. But they could be, it's definitely possible there are some males that are definitely males. So, here's the blonde guppies. They've definitely grown out a little bit, <clears throat> some more than others. And boy, are they blonde guppies. They swim right into the net. This will also be a future home of, um, uh, what, probably some red cherry shrimp. Obviously, when that happens, I'll, I'll take the heater out of the back. But um, yeah, this will be a, a future home of. That's what the Java moss is going and growing for, and the guppies are making fertilizer for it. And the tank is cycling slowly, uh, but being patient. And once I have enough shrimp to spill over to here then it'll be ready to go now that i found a, I found a nice source of driftwood i'm all set so anyways i'm going to go ahead and try to attach the um the ram breeding behavior video clips from earlier this week at this point here i hope you enjoyed this video and hope you enjoy the ram breeding behavior video clips uh like i said before please be sure to subscribe turn on notifications uh, comment below with any questions or comments you may have. Lots of comments do turn into future videos. Um, it's always a possibility. And uh, be sure to check out the links below to my channel t-shirt. I'm uh, really happy with that. And uh, my Amazon affiliate links. It's a way that you can support my channel without any extra cost to you while you're doing some Christmas shopping. Just shop through my link and... <clears throat> Look at the fin on that guy. That was crazy. Sorry, that was a squirrel moment. But, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, doing your Christmas shopping through Amazon, just order it through my link or anything through my link, and it helps to support my channel, my classroom, or the Hooked on Fish program. So, stay tuned. Ram breeding behavior next, and, uh, after that, be sure to stay tuned and stay fishy, people.